since I'm about to do something incredibly foolish, I've decided to video it, just in case it all goes horribly wrong. So what I'm going to be doing here is using this uh, butane lighter fuel to fill this bit of silicon tubing. And I'm going to try and make a flexible bubble tube. It might work, it might not work, but here's the plan. The bottom of the tube, I've already stuffed an LED into it. So that's blocked up by an LED, which I just used because of its shape. It was an old LED in my pile of LEDs I took out of stuff and couldn't bear to throw out. So I've put a bit of heat shrink around that to trap that in. And I've also heat shrinked on a couple of resistors on the side, bridged together, 150 ohm resistors, and brought the leads out, and they're going to be the heaters. And I've poured down some crushed rock salt, so there's some jaggy salt in there. And the purpose of that is that when the butane's in liquid form in here, um, it will permeate in through those the crevices in between the salt, and it will stop it circulating. It means it will heat up in a very controlled manner, and it's more likely to bubble. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt this lighter fuel down, and it'll uh, quite a lot will just spray back out, but I'm hoping to get a modest amount in, and then cap the other end with an LED um, with a modest space, and folding the silicon tube over so it's uh, kinked um, to stop uh, any gas spraying out, and then heat shrink that on, which will involve heat, which is probably the dodgiest bit. And uh, hopefully in the end, uh, hopefully the, uh, the LEDs aren't going to come out like bullets, because that would be quite unpleasant. Also, uh, I forgot, I, I didn't think at the time, I could have actually used the LED to light the inside the tube, so I'm actually going to put an uh, active LED at the other end uh, for experimentation. But anyway, enough of the waffle, let's try this, and it's going to be very messy. There's going to be lots of beauty in spring everywhere now. So... Initially, a lot of this butane will probably just spray out because um, it's hot, well, it's warm, and it needs to chill the tube down to the point it can actually stay in liquid. So some has gone down to the bottom. Ooh. And it's, oh, it's uh, boiling and spitting out. Oh, yeah, this is, this is just blowing gas everywhere. This is exciting. But it is uh, f gradually freezing. How much do I have in there? It's very hard to tell. It's starting to sort of cryogenically freeze the tube a bit, which is good. Oh. Oh, the tube's gone very hard with the, the cold temperature. Uh, most of it's just trying to get back out. The vapour from the bottom is uh, pushing it out. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Maybe I should have frozen everything beforehand. How much gas can I squirt out into my workshop before the place goes bang? I think that's quite exciting. That's uh, pretty promising. So I'm going to heat this and then I'm going to fold it across. I think I've got a modest amount of gas in there. Oh. And I'm going to warm this with my fingers, and then push this LED, which could well become a missile shortly, into the end of it. Oh, that is uh, potentially going to be a missile. I'm going to put a bit of heat shrink sleeving over that. And this is where I'm going to be applying heat to a liquid that probably isn't that keen on heat. So this could all go horribly wrong. And there's a motor in here, so that could even go worse. It could ignite all the gas that's in the vicinity now. I actually do shit like this all the time, it's, it's not a... Uh, I'm not a good role model, technically. Okay, I think that's actually quite wet, which I didn't really think of. The condensation is actually going to make this a wee bit at risk of all flying out with explosive force like a bullet. Right. Okay. So now, I do have liquid in this tube up to about here. Oh, this is uh, just a wee bit scary at the moment. I'm going to release the pressure. This is hot. I'm not really sure I want this to be hot at the moment. It will certainly not be hot once. Oh, blimey, it's trying to get out. 
No, it's uh, trying to escape. I'll let that cool down a bit first. Uh, and I'll get the power supply onto this and see if heating the resistors at the bottom will start making it bubble. It may take a while for it to warm up to before it starts doing that. It may just go bang and all the gas may squirt out and it may combust. The tube itself is still quite rigid because it's still very cold because of the cryogenic effects. Let's uh, pensively just let some of the pressure through and see what happens in there. I think that's alright. Yep, that's kind of holding. I'm not sure if the gas will just leak out this over time. This is very wet because of the condensation. So um, this should theoretically be heating up and may bubble. I could give it a wee boost. I could uh, use the heater on it, which is probably a terrible idea. Oh, there's bubbles, but... Uh, Okay, this is looking promising. But is it going to stay working? I don't see that slowing down actually, I think that's actually working. And this would let me do things like uh, make a... Oh, it's just stopped. Probably because I disturbed it. Oh, now it's trying to start again. Oh, you know what, I think it heated some of it and it increased the pressure at this end. So after a while it should stabilise if I just hold it like that. The bubbles are gradually working their way back up again. They're starting at the bottom but they're condensing back into liquid on the way up. But now they're back up at the top. That's working. That is actually working. But the question is, how long will it work for? Okay. I think I shall uh, do another little bit of experimentation with the LED at the other end and see if I can illuminate these bubbles. Okay, so lots of experimentation later with quite a few loud bangs and sudden explosive release of volatile vapours with force from ruptured tubes and, and things flying out. It's been violent. It's been quite exciting, but it's also been very violent. Um, but I've, I've made a bit of progress with trying to make a bubble tube. The hardest bit is getting the butane to stay in the tube because it's easy enough to glue an LED or other obstruction in one end and fully seal it up and put some heat shrink on it, clamps it in nice and tight and I think that end is pretty reliable. But previously I've just been squirting the butane down the inside of the tube and relying on the fact that uh, the butane, as it evaporates, cools and which is how refrigeration works and that has chilled the tube gradually down to the point it's gone it's got to the cryogenic level that the butane has stayed in liquid form in the tube and then I've been able to kind of roughly pinch off the tube and then try and put obstructions in to block it up but at that point it's very hard gluing anything in because no matter how tightly you squeeze it, there's always vapour coming out of it. It's always just molecular levels of vapour coming out, and it's putting pressure in that if you try gluing things, then before the glue is properly set, it, the pressure behind the, the obstruction builds up until it pops right off. So it's not really been working that well. However, I have been using the... Um, I'll call it a Schrader valve. It's not really a Schrader valve, but it's the refill valve out of lighters. And in this instance, I've uh, blocked this end up, added a little bit of just table salt, just for the crystals to actually absorb the liquid and allow it to va vaporise easily without the turbulence spoiling that effect. And at the other end, I've really gone to town on putting the um, fill port out of a lighter into this with multiple layers of heat shrink and resin, but I don't know if that's going to hold. There's only one way to find out. Here's the can of lighter fuel. So let's uh, try it out and see if it goes bang. So far it's holding. The pressure is not letting me put too much gas into this though. 
which means it's actually holding because I think it was the evaporation of the gas before that cooled it and uh, it allowed me to actually put more ga uh, liquid in. So I may have to do this in multiple instalments. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. I'm just not getting... It's equalising the pressure, which is almost dead centre, which just about fits right for the, for the uh, current state of the liquid in the can. So it's going to go in little bursts, but that's a good start. And hopefully if I just uh, hold this at the bottom and it starts to warm up, although the fact it's very chilled at the moment means it's going to take maybe a while for this to start. But it should hopefully start bubbling. It's probably not going to start bubbling just out of badness because I'm videoing it. I have found that uh, the ones that have worked, by the, uh, for the time they've actually held the... Um, held the actual amount of liquid, it's gradually gone down as it's oozed out. Uh, those ones have bubbled just with the heat from the LED itself without any resistors. There it goes. There's the bubbles. And I think that will increase progressively. Yeah, it is increasing. So now that's got an LED stuffed in there, let's uh, try this. My, my LED tester is not overly thrilled at the fact that large quantities of solvents have gradually been injected down it. So let's see, um, I shall try putting the lights off and we'll see how this works, how visual it looks. It's uh, going to take a while for that LED to warm up enough to do the effect. Oh, there it goes. The bubbles zigzag as they go up the tube just because of its size. I'll shield that in fact, it might make it look... Uh, it's kind of swamped the camera about with the light, isn't it? But yeah, it kind of works. Now I just have to find a, a surefire way of keeping the actual liquid in that tube because that is the, that is the tricky bit. Oh, I, I should mention that the beauty, and I looked this up, at room temperature, say roughly 25 degrees centigrade, a warm room, the pressure inside this tube will be about 50 pounds a square inch. Which doesn't fill me with much confidence for doing this with glass. Oh yeah, this is uh, going in little bursts. Oh yeah, this is bound to end in tears at some point. It hasn't exploded yet. Ooh. Rightio. See if I can get that bubbling again. The whole tube will have uh, changed thermally because of the uh, the chilling effect of putting the new liquid in. But um, yeah, you got the gist of it. You know, it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of working. I think once this tube's stabilised, it should bubble, and then um, so I'm going to leave this overnight. I'm going to mark the height of the liquid in it and see if it remains intact. I don't know if, um, with the pressure, I don't know if it's going to liberate gradually through just even any porous nature of the silicon. I think the silicon tubing should be fairly robust. But, um, yeah. I just, so I don't know if the gas is going to escape or not. But there's only one way to find out, and that's to leave it overnight, and then I'll leave a... Um, mention, uh, I'll tell you what happens in the description down below. So yeah, interesting. That's been quite entertaining, albeit slightly violent as well. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs>